What's going on guys, GP Super Game here, back with another Fiends Craft video. Make sure to like and subscribe. So, it's been a while, um, I got tagged. That's, I'm, so now I'm officially tagged on both Fiends Craft and the Big Brain Craft server, so that's, that's kind of cool, whatever. It's neat. Um, I'll, after I cleaned up the mess of mains, I got pranked again. A third, like, like, literally right after I cleaned up the mess, I got pranked again. So there was that. Um, I also, uh, Foxy also cleaned up the front a little bit. Thanks, Foxy. And then there also, uh, I also think the prank, the second prank that happened was also done by mains again. I'm not exactly sure. I also upgraded the sheep farm. I don't like, I, I don't know why I do this. It's like sometimes I have common sense and sometimes I don't, all right? I was just in them. I was just, sometimes I just do it and then sometimes. I actually think about what I'm doing, and yeah. So I upgraded the sheep farm. Instead of pistons up right here in the corners, they now push only through the middle. So what happens is, if there's wool over here, it's gonna get pushed in. Oh, you just saw it happen. It's gonna get pushed in, and in, into the middle. If so, say that there's a piece of wool right here, it's gonna get pushed in right here, and then this piston is gonna push it in the middle towards the hopper. So now it's 100% accurate. It's 100% accurate. It's going to make it in the middle, no matter what. This is, goes by for every single um, chamber in here, along with all 16 colors that I have. Um, I've also upgraded the item, uh, the storage system. So before, um, what was wrong with this side was every single time I put an item in here or an item automatically got filtered into here um what ended up happening was if it did not belong over here it ended up transferring into the system over here but it did not end up in this chest i also added redstone lapis and quartz and fixed the system so now any item that does not go over here or in these three chests it now comes all the way through down here Oh, you can hear more wool going through. Also, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this already in the last video, but the wool is automatically transferred into the storage system. It was also de designed specifically like this. Uh, 16 spaces for the wool. That's how I did it. Specifically for the wool. This entire sorting system is based off the wool. Also, coming out here, I know, I know, I know, Easter is over. It, it ended... A few months ago, and I still have not opened up my Easter my Easter egg. I, I still haven't done it. And uh, well, I already know where the diamond is actually. Like X uh, Zumac showed me it. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Mm -hmm. What's it say? Happy Easter, JP. Find the hidden diamond. Probably not Easter when you open this. Lol. Easter bunny. What the hell? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was like, that was not supposed to be my reaction. That was just... Ah, oh, sweet. How have, not, how have I not opened this yet? Oh, I'm breaking three, efficiency five, and mending one? I got a diamond. I got some ink sacks, some leather. Ooh, some more food. Um, mm. scaffolding, 10 piece, I got a, dang, and some boots, I actually broke my boots recently, we're gonna go ahead and put those on, that would, that actually really, <laughs> that really surprised me, wow, that's, that's neat, I'm gonna, I have to put all this stuff away, mm. we're gonna leave that up for now, we're gonna leave that up, yeah. Now that I've covered that, we're going to go over to Hollow's base real quick. And then I'm also going to show you a soccer match right after that. And then we're going to go to Elytron. And then we're going to have a future gathering. I have a lot planned, all right? I have a lot planned. We got a lot coming up. So stay tuned. Uh, why did I say that? Okay, so I came over to Hollow's base real quick to give him a bucket of milk. And for those of you, I haven't actually talked about this much, but I got tagged. Basically, the rules of tag is you have to give it away to someone. You have to tag someone else, but you got to follow the rules of what the last person set for you. The last when Frost attacked me, the rules were I had to give it away using redstone. So I'm gonna trick. I came. I'm gonna trick Hollow real quick. 
and give him tag, and then I'm gonna tell him rules, and then I'm gonna I'm, I'm not sure what the punishment's gonna be, what he has to do to get rid of it. Okay, don't look inside. Come stand right here. Stand on top. Okay, so I'm gonna get him to stand on top of another rock, and then I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the tag in there, and I'm gonna get rid of it finally. Okay, now push the lever. Just make it sure. <laughs> I think it worked. I finally, I finally got rid of it. <laughs> okay, so he got. So the rules are: is you gotta tag someone, but you have to do it after one day of having a tag. You also have to do it the way the person who tagged you told you how. I was told by Frost to get rid of it using redstone. So the thing is, I don't know how to. I don't know what the punishment should be for him. For him, I think. Um, I don't know. He has to give it to him in a pot of gold. That's that's how. That's what he got to do. <laughs> because he because he because he kind of looks like a leprechaun. I thought, okay, let's do this. I don't care how he does it. It doesn't matter how he does it. But he has to do it. Within a pot of gold, he has to. It has to be. He. It has to be in a pot of gold, or he can get him inside the pot of gold, throw it at them. He has to give it to them through a pot of gold. Yep, he has to give it to them in a pot of gold. So it has to be inside a pot of gold. The tag has to be inside a pot of gold. Okay, bye, Mr. Leprechaun. I'll see you later. All right, bye. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Ah, oh, damn. Don't mind me. God damn it. I'm getting out of here. Bye. <laughs> I can't fly on the phone, so I'm going to have to get offline right now. Anyways, I just thought we uh Anyways, I just thought we'd shoot that little short clip there. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. The time has come for the final match. Whoever wins this gets all the monies. Okay, it looks like she's ready. Let's get into this freaking match. I gotta get my fishing rod ready. I'm already getting pissed off. This is starting to piss me off already. God damn it, I have a temper. Okay, 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 okay. We all good, we all, we all good. It's two to zero. I'm gonna try to take it slow. Come on! I freaking push the- I hate, I hate mobile. I freaking hate mobile. I hate mobile. Oh my god, we gotta make it we gotta make it. Ah. Boxer, we gotta do this! Yeah, that's in, baby. That's freaking in. So I went silent because I was actually a little shocked, but that, but that freaking made it. That made it, baby. Boom, baby. That was actually a nice win. Who's texting me? Why is it good? No, god damn it, spider! Spider! Oh.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip out. I'm gonna, oh my god, I'm gonna flip out. I'm gonna flip out. <sighs> I feel like somehow Spider was cheating because I, I don't know. Either I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I, it might just be me being stupid and speculating stuff just because I'm a little mad. But this is getting ridiculous. Oh, you know what? That is perfect. That is perfect right there. Can you not shoot me? Can we just like hurry up and get the? <laughs> <sighs> you know, you don't ever say that since you're gonna win, you go for it either. Oh my god! I don't, I don't get the point. Oh my god, I, ugh, this like bothers me on so many levels. Why does this bother me so bad? Is it because we're losing? Like seriously, <laughs> what is wrong with me? I don't really want to do this. Come on, can we just end the game? I got stuff to do. Actually, I don't. I'm just saying that because I don't want to be here right now. Because the spider, I'm gonna go ahead and help Foxy. No, no, I'm not. Actually, I'm not. I'm not. I'm doing this. I'm sitting to the side. Okay, I guess it's 1v1. Foxy just sitting in chat, so I'm just gonna sit here. One. I didn't say go. I didn't even say go. Dude, that is like, nah. My fault you jumped. There you go, Foxy! There you go! She knows she figured it out. She figured it out. There you go. There you freaking go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, come on, Foxy. Come on. He jumped again. <laughs> oh my god, that is hilarious. There you freaking go, that was amazing. Get it! No, get it! Get it! No, 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 Foxy, come on, Foxy! Good job. Good job, uh, guys. <sighs>
look at the picture, there's a faint, rain, a faint red line somewhere around here. Yeah, I didn't realize I was there. It's not supposed to be there. Hmm. Oh, that little... Oh, I thought that was just lava. Oh, no. <laughs> I th I thought there it was, was lava a somewhere like up here in that little ravine. Yeah, I see that. Anyways, okay. um, I plan to have the entire group here, so I was going to say entire speech, and it was like, welcome to the planning of the futuristic <laughs> district. And I was going to say something, but um, yeah. I guess it's just me and you, unless you still want me to do the speech, it doesn't really matter. I had it planned for more than one person. Um, we may have to set up another time where we can get more in. Yeah, how many of us are there for the future team? I think one, one two, five. Only five? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, so I guess I won't say speech for you because you're the only one here. But yeah. um, as you saw on the map, which took a lot of photoshopping, surprisingly, um, I have <laughs> created small little blueprints of what my ideas are for a futuristic district. Um, I'll, I guess I'll start Road, off with my crystal tree. I can't wait to see what the crystal tree is gonna look like. I feel like that's gonna. Oh be yeah. Cool. So for the crystal tree. I was supposed to make a smaller version, but like I said, I ended up getting distracted again. So mm. what it's what the crystal tree is supposed to look like is a regular small one that you might build like right here if you wanted to. Um, it's going to be seed lanterns, and then it's going to be different types of colored glass on the outside. Maybe two layers, maybe one. I'm not exactly mm. sure yet. But that's what I was thinking okay. about the crystal tree. So that also, it also lights up. in this area where the ravine is, what do you mean by city? Okay, so... Um, a while back, I was asking you guys to start clearing this out because we were going to be building here. Oh, you see this little area where it's the same color uh, type of grass as it is over here in the forest? And also with the yeah, bridges. Yeah, like here. Yeah. So there right used there. to be a bunch of trees right here, but I've cleared out most of them. Um, the reason mm -hmm. why was to build a city. Basically, the city is supposed to be the futuristic city. It's just supposed to be there for decoration. Um... I didn't we I didn't plan on having anything serious over there. It's just complete decoration, but like we're doing with the city district. Um, mm. you know, there was a few ideas of making the buildings into farms. So if we wanted to do that, that's perfectly fine with me, but the most for the most part the futuristic uh city is just a uh, decoration. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I just have a chest monster right now. I really need to start on an actual base. Because if you go to my base, I have nothing but a chest monster. <laughs> yeah, my base. <laughs> I just shot him as soon as he blew up. Okay, so okay. now that we fixed no, no the map, let's get back to talking about the future of this district. So... Yeah, the city... right now it's kind of in shambles. What? Right now it's kind of in shambles. I have some dirt. I'm gonna fill this a little okay. bit. Okay. So we already talked a little bit about the city. Um, you can see there at the top. I didn't make the map all that big. I mean, it's huge, but not big enough to cover all of our land. So what if we yeah. wanted to? If you come up here and see, we could expand the city, but we gotta stay within the river line, within the river. A a anything inside the river is our land. That belongs to futuristic. We can build on that land. Anything that's in this, in these river lines. Okay. So we can go farther up if we wanted to. Um, okay. the future, the futuristic city also expands into here, as you can see on the map on the world but the shopping district part of futuristic also sold so i was thinking this little area that's kind of cleared out of trees i was thinking that could be um part of the city and also part of the shopping district and uh they can be kind of like a mixture like few, like fa fading out of from the out of, fading out of the district and going into the city kind of theme stuff over here yeah. the futuristic city and then we also have roads. So if you look at the map too, I also have the crystal tree. I plan the crystal tree is not going to be small. It's probably going to be. It's going to be hopefully pretty big. You've seen Iskal's giant tree, right? 
on yeah. Hermitcraft. It'll probably be something similar to that, not as big. But oh god. It, not as big, but it'll definitely be big. Uh, it'll be somewhat big, but not as big as that, not humongous. Anyway, starting there from there. A, huh? There was like a portal somewhere down here. What was that all about? There was a portal like somewhere in the mountains. I think it was right, right here. Oh, you must be talking about oops. Yeah, that's also that's actually part of Elytron. I'll talk about that in a moment. That's actually. You see this uh. little kingdom right here? Oh, there it is. I see it now. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that used to be Oak Space. We're actually using that for Elytron. There's a portal in there. So, anyways, uh, where the crystal tree is gonna go, I was thinking about having road also surround it, and then the road kind of goes out into the city and into the shopping district. Now, on the on the map, the road is black, but that's not how I want it. You know that the future roads are probably going to be repainted uh, white, right? How they plan to yeah. do that? Yeah, kind of like how this is already. Yeah, speaking of this, uh, we'll get, I'll get to that in a moment. But So the roads are not going to be black. They're going to be white with yellow lines on them, okay? Okay. Also, on the map, the uh -huh, roads... Okay. On the map, the roads look a lot bigger than what they should. They're not going to be that. They're not going to be that big, covering up the entire chunk. Covering up entire chunks. They'll only be like a few blocks wide. Li wider than this, but you get the idea. Anyways, I was thinking about having the, gra the glass tree, the crystal tree going up to the sky, and then roads surrounding it, kind of like the city district. We're going with that yeah. kind of same vibe. Ooh, we should put the portal there. That you want to put the portal cool. there? I think that would be good. Because, yeah. like, with, like, city, we put it into a small tree. With medieval, it's being moved, and this is just on a Ooh, tiny Ooh, since tree. it's the crystal tree, it's, we can... So, the crystal tree, we plan to have it actually pretty big. So, we could put a giant portal in there. Yeah. Another thing is, with uh, the futuristic... I feel like soon we need to move the villager hall because I look away, I get, get like a nice 30 FPS. I look there, and I'm like 10. It's terrible. <laughs> well, mm, I mean, if it's you really so want to, I mean, it doesn't. Over there. The way I see it, so if you look at the map in the red lines, that's all the sit. That's all the shopping. That's where shops are going to be built. That's true. Yeah, so there's probably be more things like that built. Yeah, so it's probably just gonna be laggy in general, even if we do move that. Also, yeah. what's with this base down here? This little mini base. It's like that all used to the be oaks as there. well. Yeah, uh. we'll we can probably. That used to be oaks. We can actually remove that. That's another thing. What do you guys want to do with that bridge? I don't know. Are we occurring Are we seeing that me and Foxy kept on coming up with because the castle that Oak had built? We were thinking that mm. some of the thing builds inside Futuristic would be um, old, like they've been here for thousands of years, unlike Future, which is being built and everything. Yeah. You get that? It's like an old kind of vibe. So we can leave the bridge up as an old, as just something that's always been there, even before the shopping district. And futuristic district, mm -hmm. which it was really, it was here before. So we can leave it up as decoration and kind of go with that same kind of idea, like we are with the castle. Yeah. Because the idea of the castle here is me and Fox are gonna rebuild, are gonna build it up and actually and make it look really old and falling apart, and it's also gonna be part of the Elytron mm -hmm. course. So down here, it's the same kind of idea with the city up here. We can't. We are, it's not just we can, we are going to expand more down here, which is back there more. We are going to expand the, the shopping area back down there. I just couldn't get that far back. Oh, and also, you see, if you come over here on the map, uh, the, everything that's in blue with the wool and everything, I have, I was going to tell the others not to worry about that. I have decided that is IS, everything in that little area is IST property, and we are responsible for cleaning it up and terraforming it after we get our stuff ready. Oh, yeah, the ravine. What are we doing about that ravine? Are we just gonna 
plug oh. it up and build over it. Trist, build that underground. Huh? I'm gonna go and check it out. I was thinking maybe we can, yeah, just clear up, uh, plug on, plug in the top and just build over it. So, I think that about covers the future idea of the district. Oh, wait, wait, one more thing. So we can also, if you come over here to the and look, um, over here in this corner. Where you at? There you are. I keep running into buildings. <laughs> Over here in this corner, in this top uh, left corner, there we yeah. can expand the, the futuristic district that way too. But there was okay. one problem, actually two problems. So one problem I know for sure is we might run into, or we might be able to see the future, the city district if we get too close. So we might be cut off yeah. by the river, but we still be able to see their buildings, depending how big they decide to go. Another problem is uh, this land might be completely connected to the city's land, so we might actually end up building on the same land as them. So we gotta be careful not to go. I was thinking overall it was it was supposed to be group vote on what we would do here. If we can stop there where the map ends, or we can continue going and just risk it, or stop at a certain. Not point. only that, in between. Uh future and city we also have the mall district and those we're not going to do that oh i forgot I flew about over the, mall. The, the look how close yeah i flew over there to look at how close city was and i saw the mall portal and okay everything. then then yeah so you think we should just stop there at, the, at that point yeah all right then i guess we, we will stop yeah, there probably a good idea okay <laughs> all right this is the end of, this is the end of this clip i I hope Frost, I enjoyed it, I hope Frost enjoyed it. I wish the others could have showed up, but unfortunately they couldn't. See you guys in the next clip. I meant to put that on. <laughs> Alright, see you guys in the next clip. The final clip. Alright, last clip I have in store for you guys is base building. We can finally get to some base building. I have uh, collected a crap ton of concrete and also have some explaining to do for some stuff. So yeah, let's get into it real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and come out. Hi there, Mr. Creeper. How are you doing? Ooh. Okay, give me give me one minute. Die, die. Okay, here we go. Um, so I have so I've already built this before on my test world, and it's a pretty big build. It's a huge build, but it's exactly what I want. As you can see, I've already done the measurements, and I'm telling you, these measurements are taking absolutely forever. I swear. Um. It, the build is pretty big, and I ha I'm like, in order to completely understand and make sure I understand what I'm doing and know what I'm doing, I have been writing 3D diagrams of the build on notebooks and stuff with measurements and everything. It's coming out really nice. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So this build is made up of, uh, this build will be made up of, um, what do you call it? It's going to be made up a lot of quartz and white concrete. Uh, it's it mostly white concrete. There's not a lot of quartz in it. I'm also gonna need some white concrete, uh, black concrete eventually. Um, let's go. Okay, so according to my measurements here, I go one one back. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's right. Also, with the clip with the futuristic uh, district planning, not everyone was able to show up. But I also realized I screwed up my audio settings, and I've and uh, in the video my mic was all messed up. It's, it wasn't my mic. I don't think so. I think it's my mic, but I also think it has something to do with my recording system. So yeah, there was that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Scoot up here. I also, I'm working on some new stuff for, um, how many blocks is this? One, two, three. I'm working on some new stuff so I can be able to start recording on my computer from now on. And don't have to worry about, um, cause it's a, it's a pretty big hassle recording on my phone. So I was thinking for main videos, I would record on my phone. But for Phoenix Craft and Big Brain Craft, I would record on my laptop once I get that figured out.
It says here to go two blocks up. Yeah, that's about right. That sounds about right. One. Two. This reminds me, I also ran out of concrete for my elytron hoop, so whatever I don't, I don't know if that's right. I don't know if that's right. I totally forgot, I, I just realized that I have this test build on my laptop, so I can, instead of writing down measure, I, I, I swear I'm so dumb sometimes, I could just look at it from my laptop. Oh damn, now I gotta get down. Okay, okay, so, oh, okay, never mind. Well, we're gonna, gonna get down real quick, and we're gonna work on that side, and then kind of come on over and finish that part. Okay, let's do this part now. If I can freaking place down some concrete, there we go. Oh, damn. Get over here real quick. I believe that goes there, along with another one. Okay, there we go. Well, for a second, I thought I had somehow built this off, and I was going to flip out right now. What did I do wrong? Oh. Maybe I did build it off a little bit. What did I do wrong? Okay, so from there, boom. There we go, I see the problem. Wait, what did I do wrong? I did something wrong here. So one, okay, so boom, boom. So yeah, this this doesn't go there. That does. That. That doesn't go there. But this does. Did I do, is that right? I think I know what it is. This is what this is too wide. It's supposed to be one wide. And I think they just fixed the problem. One, two, one. Yep, that that works. That's that's right. Next up is the outline. So we gotta go one block behind again. Build up. And kind of wrap around, if you know what I mean. Wrap around here. Not there. Oh man, I'm like su I'm like super <laughs> I'm like super excited right now because like we're getting all the um I'm finally getting my base building and this is like the very beginning, the first steps and everything. This is gonna be absolutely amazing once it's done, hopefully. I mean this is this is not the biggest thing I've ever built in survival, but I've I've played a lot of survival, but I've never really truly built like gone full out like I have on SMPs with like with Big Brain Craft and Phoenix Craft. So oh, damn it. So this is a new experience. Um I've only done it like two or three times really. I mean I play a lot of Minecraft and I build a lot. But usually my builds aren't this complex and this organized. Like this, I have literally gone out of my way to make measurements and make sure everything is symmetrical and just absolutely cool. I've also, unlike, so usually when making builds like this, I would have to, um, it wouldn't matter what it looked like because, you know, I was the only one who was really going to see it. I didn't care about what anyone else thought of it. But now that I'm actually up making videos on it and having people see this, it's a whole different story. Like everyone, people are going to be able to see it. People are going to be able to judge it. So that's what I've realized. It's very important to make sure that what you're building isn't just what you like, but also something that others could find interest in. So this is going to come up. Wait, 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 wait. I, I didn't count. One, two, three, four. Oh, 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 four. This is why I don't like piece, uh, iPhone. Five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, it felt like, it felt like I was saying a dance and, like, do you know? This is what happened. Ooh. So, build up, build up, build up, build up. Build up. 
And this is the front window, so we're gonna have some glass, some blue uh, stained glass. Um, but yeah, there's that. So far, this is coming out good. Anyways, I'm gonna stop building there because this is getting irritating building on my phone, and also because I don't have a, enough resources to actually continue. Now that I'm done rambling on about what I'm doing, this is it. Uh, this is the beginnings of my future base. I have huge plans for this base still. Um, we gotta get some. We gotta get this village populated again. Um, I think this is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out Phoenix Craft, check out Big Brain Craft. Um, join the discords. Uh, Big Brain Craft Discord, Phoenix Craft Discord, and also. Oh God, I got a burp. Ugh. Okay, maybe I don't. Anyways, check out my Twitter too. I'll catch you guys later. Chip Super Gaming out.